boldly to live the life you love and love the life you live. The fact is, you're already amazing at manifesting. It's true. We know this because your thoughts automatically attract what happens to you. So, the big issue with manifestation is the quality of what you attract and how you can achieve it. Your biggest manifestation roadblock? Plain and simple. It's doubt. In this manifestation video, we will show you how to stop manifesting what you don't want and create what you do want. The cool thing is, you won't need to visualize anything. Coming from ancient sources, this video includes a previously unknown attraction approach you won't find anywhere else. Only right here, right now in this video. Watch this short, powerful presentation and you'll discover why your vision board failed and an easy, unique way to fix it. A simple manifestation tip used to successfully triple income. An abundance technique that works overnight while you sleep. What all lottery winners have in common. A life-changing meditation for manifesting that works while you read it. A one-minute solution to put your manifestation ability into overdrive. The all-important question you must answer to manifest what you want. How reading a book all by itself will automatically activate your manifesting power. Why you are manifesting chaos and how to take control. Five emotions that produce negative manifestation and ways to transmute them. An emotion so powerful it can intercept bad manifestations, aka karma. Six powerful emotions that attract great things and an easy technique to tap into them. How to identify and change beliefs that block manifestation. Nine ways to harness vital energy, chi, prana, to manifest things faster. And much more. You won't have to wait for a long time. In as little as 14 days, you can expect a radical and permanent shift in your thoughts and behaviors. The best part? Over the coming weeks, these strategies will have a cumulative impact on your thinking habits. Imagine having an unstoppable mindset to attract exactly what you want. And any doubts about using your thoughts to transform your reality disappear forever. Buried for nearly 1700 years, called heresy by the Orthodox Church, and written in the words of Jesus himself. Could this new discovery be the missing link you've been searching for in your life? The thing that finally changes everything and starts to send you everything you've ever wanted? You see headlines shouting new discovery every day. So it's probably not a surprise that you might have missed a little press release published in November of 2017 from the University of Texas, Austin. But this press release rocked the very foundation of one of the biggest organizations on the earth, the Christian Church. And it put the final straw on a decision I've been thinking about for a long, long time. A decision to release information that was so controversial that I received anonymous suited visitors, a legal takedown notice, and even threatening blocked number phone calls. I'll tell you exactly what was in it in a moment. But first, I need to make sure I have your full attention. This information has the power to change everything for you. And I don't want you to miss one single second. I am very serious. If you click away from this conversation, you'll be turning your back on the key to unlocking your wildest dreams and the passwords Jesus Christ himself used to perform real-life miracles. Yes, you heard me correctly. And no, you won't find this in any version of the Holy Bible. In fact, the Christian Church has spent nearly 1,700 years on an endless crusade to destroy, discredit, and dismantle this information. Don't believe me? Just Google the words Gnostic Gospels and you'll see. There is mounting evidence in the scientific community regarding two almost heretical conclusions. The first, Jesus himself was using a secret code, something he referred to as kodikos, the Greek word for passwords, to manipulate the physical world around himself. Some speculate this is directly related to the many miracles Jesus was recorded as performing. The second, Jesus' teachings are directly and almost prophetically proven by the emerging science of quantum physics. I'm not here to ask you to believe something without proof. 
But I'm asking you to open your mind to the possibility that your entire life is built on something more than just physical reality. And that one of the most influential and world-changing men in history gave a specific step-by-step -step roadmap to using the fundamental power of the universe to shape your life however you want. This goes beyond the law of attraction and beyond simple manifestation. What Jesus taught and what the church has tried so desperately to bury and destroy has the power to make you a living creator of your own reality in this world. And I can say that with complete conviction, because I am living proof. I use the same information to literally save my own life. And I've used it to create floods of wealth into my bank account. The most mind-blowing romantic relationship of my life. And a level of peace and happiness I thought I would never get. I've also taught these secret codes, which I have come to call quantum manifestation codes, in private workshops around the world. The results have been, well, miraculous. Like Samantha from Ashland, Oregon, who wrote, Within days, I had more money, my transportation problems vanished, and a friend since high school who I had a falling out with over a year ago reached out to reconnect. Which is the best news of all. I may have been skeptical, but now I am a believer. I want to tell the world, I just wish I could find a church that teaches what Benjamin teaches. It's like they want to keep us dependent on them. While Benjamin helps set you free and realize you're true, God-given abilities. And this, from a priest. I've changed the name and location so he doesn't lose his position. Benjamin, I can't thank you enough for your amazing work. I've been a preacher for over 20 years, and you opened my eyes. For years, I believed that Jesus' rebukes of his disciples seemed unfair. Certainly, he can't expect his disciples to do the same miracles he did. He's the Son of God. Who would have thought that a book would finally help me realize that we are all the sons and daughters of God, and we all truly can do all that Christ did, and more? In order to understand the connection between Jesus' own words, the stunning effectiveness of his passwords, and the power to control your own reality, we have to look back at history. I promise to be brief, but this is incredibly important, and I need you to know all of the facts before I share the true power of this new discovery. With over 2.2 billion followers, Christianity is the world's biggest religion. The man named Yeshua, later called Jesus Christ, is arguably the most influential man in all of history. And yet, why, even when the days, weeks, and years of our calendar are based on the year of his birth, do we not fully understand his teachings? Even if you aren't particularly religious, doesn't it make sense to study the words and actions of the most impactful human being to walk the earth? That's what I thought too. So I started digging into the red letters of the Bible. If you're not completely familiar with that term, this is what it means. Red letters are used in most versions of the Bible to denote the actual words Jesus himself spoke. When you see a passage quoted in black ink, it was written by one of the authors of the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John to name just a few. The red letters are actual quotes from Jesus, transcribed by his disciples. As you can imagine, if you believe you are one of the twelve apostles of the reborn King of Heaven, you are going to take great pains to make sure every word is recorded exactly as you hear it. That's why Jesus' quotes often repeat themselves or use grammar that doesn't sound right when it's written. Because it wasn't written, it was spoken. One of the first red letter verses that caught my eye was this. Jesus said, and I quote, I tell you the truth, anyone who believes in me will do the same works I have done and even greater works. John 14, 12. Now, if Jesus knew he was the incarnation of God on earth, the living son of the creator, why would he speak those words? The living embodiment of the creator himself was telling me that I could be greater than he was? I was fascinated. So I dug deeper. I found this passage as well. If you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mulberry tree, be uprooted and planted in the sea, and it will obey you. Luke 17.6 Again, I'm faced with a question. Why is Jesus telling me that I can simply speak at a tree and it will obey my command? Why does he reference the smallest amount of faith possible? Surely there is an error in translation. 
Surely he meant to say something like, if you believe you can do something, you can do that thing. But he didn't. He said exactly those words, and his faithful apostle Luke recorded them verbatim. It would seem that Jesus was teaching something concrete, something tangible. These words stood out to me. Faith, mustard seed, say, and obey. Faith is clear. Jesus was referencing the power of total conviction. Today we use facts to create belief and faith in things. We use science. Mustard seed, though, that was odd. So I researched what a mustard seed was, and I found something very interesting. A mustard seed, at the time, was the smallest thing visible to the naked eye. Even a grain of sand could be larger than a single mustard seed. Jesus was using the language of his time to describe the smallest unit of measurement he could. And now we see he was referencing belief and the smallest unit of measurement he could. In modern times, we would use the words scientific facts and electrons, because electrons are the smallest particle of an atom, which is the building block of all matter. But wait, we discovered electrons in 1897. Since then, we have discovered particles even smaller than electrons. For example, we found subparticles called quarks and leptons too that made up neutrons. And then, in 2012, the world of physics was thrown into an uproar. Using cutting-edge technology, scientists discovered physical evidence of a fundamental particle called the Higgs boson. This particle is also called the God particle primarily because the scientists who predicted its existence were calling it the building block of all energy and matter. In 2012, I saw that scientists had discovered the God particle, the fundamental building block of our physical reality on Earth. And a cold shiver ran up my spine. I rushed back to my dog-eared copy of the Bible, and I reread that passage in Luke 17:6. If you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mulberry tree, be uprooted and planted in the sea, and it will obey you. I was transfixed. My eyes ran over the words again and again. My mind raced, and then it clicked. If I translated Jesus' words into modern language, I would get the following. If you have scientific facts as small as a Higgs boson molecule, which basically means if you believe in science, the first part made a little bit of sense now, but the second part was still unclear. Was this true? Was this another metaphor? I had to find out if the second half of the quote was true in modern times as well. Because if it was, I had one more discovery to make. And it was in the field of quantum physics. And I didn't have to wait long. I stumbled onto a strange, and still not completely understood, phenomenon known as quantum superposition. I won't bore you. Here's the important part. Quantum physics discovered that all particles can exist either as a wave, like a radio frequency or a beam of light, or a particle, which is a single point. The crazy, counterintuitive, and almost unbelievable truth is, these things can exist at exactly the same time. Meaning, a wave can also be a particle at the exact moment in time. They essentially exist simultaneously in different dimensions. I know, it gets really weird really fast, but it's also a proven scientific fact. And here's the most important part of all. The only thing that forces a particle to stop being both things at once is direct observation, which translates to something doesn't exist until we look at it with our own eyes. Now let me ask you a simple question. What is sound? You might reply, it's vibrational frequencies moving through the air. And you'd be right. And how do humans make sound using no tools? To that you might reply, our voice, and you'd be correct. Yes, our bodies can make sound without our voice, but our voice is the only thing we control with perfection. We articulate the exact vibrations of an incredibly complex set of organs to create sound that is filled with the exact meaning we want to convey. More so than simple observation, Using your voice is the way you manifest your thoughts in physical form immediately. Your thoughts are just fleeting things inside your mind. Success never comes to those who use thinking alone. But by translating your thoughts into a verbal command, science has proven that you can affect the physical world around you. 
even if it's in an incredibly small way. Your words literally change the world. Multiple studies around the world confirm that this is not only an isolated incident that is just funky quantum nonsense. Water is affected by sound. Water levitates. Sound affects matter. And water is affected by verbal cues. I need you to connect the dots with me here, because this is the most important part of the entire presentation. Jesus' words, when translated today, would effectively say this. If you believe in scientific facts, you can speak a command and the physical world will obey. This isn't theory. This isn't metaphor. This is Jesus' word proven in laboratories around the world by thousands of scientists. Our observation affects the physical world around us. The smallest particles in the universe respond to our direct influence. I didn't explain all this to bore you. I explained it because I need you to understand a fundamental truth. If Jesus was sharing timeless, universal knowledge with us, and he specifically told us we could do greater works than him, then we have the power of living creators on this earth, capable of manifesting and attracting whatever we set our direct intention to. But Jesus didn't just hint at this power. He created a direct, step-by-step -step roadmap. He laid everything out, crystal clear for anyone who knew what he was really trying to say with his teachings. And this is why the Pharisees convicted him. This is why the Romans crucified him. This is why the church threw away half of the written Gospels 300 years after his death. Do you have any idea how incredibly dangerous a human being could be if they fully realized how powerful they were? How could they be controlled? How could they be governed? How could they be taxed? How could they be made to work in order to produce goods they don't need? How could they be made to fight wars against each other? I'll give you a hint. We couldn't. If more people knew the incredible, God-given, radical creator power that was flowing inside them, we couldn't be controlled, manipulated, governed, taxed, or exploited. If you've seen The Secret, or even if you've watched the 6 o'clock news, you know that 96% of the wealth of the world is controlled by 1% of the population. Not only that, but those people are typically seen as heroes. People who created their own reality. You've seen them all. Steve Jobs was said to have a reality distortion field around him. Margaret Hazley wrote, The people who say you are not facing reality actually mean that you are not facing their idea of reality. Reality is, above all else, a variable. With a firm enough commitment, you can sometimes create a reality which did not exist before. Albert Einstein said, Reality is merely an illusion, albeit a very persistent one. The greatest people in the world are already bending reality to their will. Let that sink in. At the beginning of this presentation, I asked you to keep an open mind, but to never believe anything without proof. Let me share some proof with you now. If Jesus was using the words of his time to describe the acts we could perform and telling us that we could become greater even than himself, then the test of that statement is to examine his own works and see if we're measuring up using the tools we have. Jesus is recorded as performing dozens of miracles, from healing the sick to raising the dead, and smaller feats such as controlling the weather, turning water to wine, and exercising demons. Let's run down the list using modern science. Jesus is said to have healed a number of blind people. Using modern medicine, blindness is a disease that can be medicated, stopped, and reversed using several different treatments. According to an article in Medical News Today, we can prevent or cure 80% of cases of blindness. We use everything from contact lenses to corrective laser surgery. We heal tens of millions of people of blindness every year. Jesus is said to have cured several people of leprosy, a ravaging disease that terrified all of the ancient world, from China to Europe. Today, in the last two decades, over 16 million people have been completely cured of leprosy all over the globe. Leprosy is treatable with simple antibiotics. The World Health Organization will cure anyone of leprosy for free. Jesus healed paralyzed people. In addition to the numerous cures for paralyzing diseases today, we have created machines that allow even 100% paralyzed individuals to live completely full lives, like Stephen Hawking. 
And, in 2014, The Independent in the UK published an article about using stem cells to regrow nerve tissues to allow spinally paralyzed patients to walk again. Several successful cases exist around the world, and it's the primary focus of dozens of international medical researchers. Healing deafness, menstrual bleeding, cripples, and muteness. All of these are cured today using medical devices, prescription medicine, physical therapy, and speech pathology. Hundreds of millions of people per year are cured of ailments like this. Exercising Demons In Jesus' time, many people who were thought to be possessed by demons were exhibiting modern-day behavior that is identical to mental illness. Every year, through medication, therapy, and education, billions of people are cured of mental illness of all sorts. Controlling the Weather Jesus calmed storms, turned water to wine, and walked on water. Today, even if you want to discount the fact that every modern building has built-in air conditioning and heating, indoor plumbing, and running water, there are scientists who are seeding the air to create rain clouds in desert areas. Entire cities like Las Vegas and Los Angeles that are built entirely in the desert with water being redirected, sanitized, and controlled to support millions of people, and even sports where competitors walk on water. Raising the Dead as a final seemingly impossible miracle, Jesus raised several people from the dead. However, just in 2017 alone, thousands of patients were healed from total heart failure using CPR. Thousands were brought back from not breathing, and hundreds of patients who were pronounced clinically dead ended up spontaneously reviving due to the efforts of physicians. My friends, Jesus was an incredible man maybe the most incredible the world has ever known. But I hear the echo of his words in my mind when I read the news today. I tell you the truth. Anyone who believes in me will do the same works I have done, and even greater works. If the words of Christ himself were telling us that we could do works similar to him, and if he was giving us crystal clear instructions on how to do it, of course the church would suppress that information. When I dove down this rabbit hole many years ago, I lost friends. I was ostracized by my church, and after I began teaching this to small groups and workshops, I actually received threatening phone calls to stop my heresy. If you think religious persecution is a thing of the past, you need only look over at Syria or Burma to see the atrocity people commit every day in the name of organized religion. No. This wasn't something I was going to get the church to change. I had to take things into my own hands. I pored over multiple versions of the Bible. And after extracting all of Jesus' teachings from the official version, I went searching for more. I asked myself, is this all Jesus said? It seems to me that a man of such influence must have said more than 30,000 words. For reference, theologians have counted the total number of red-letter words spoken by Jesus, and the number is around 30,000. For context, President Barack Obama spoke more words during his eight State of the Union addresses alone than Jesus was recorded speaking in his entire life. I knew there had to be more, and I found more. There are 52 unofficial Gospels that were not included as part of the New Testament. Scholars know them as the Gnostic Gospels, and they contain accounts from people like Mary Magdalene, the Curtisian that Jesus saved from being stoned to death, and people like Judas who is known officially as the man who betrayed Jesus and got him killed. In fact, even as recently as November 2017, researchers found an original copy of one of Jesus' letters to his brother, James, buried in the codices found in the Nag Hammadi Library. I won't bore you with the entire history of these Gospels. Just their existence proves my point. The Church tells its own story, and it isn't the whole truth. Here's what I know to be true. 1. We can control the reality around us, using our thoughts and words alone. 2. The entire structure of society, government, religion, and education is designed to prevent us from doing that. 3. Jesus laid down a step-by-step -step blueprint to learning to control our own reality and start performing miracles of our own. If you have seen enough of the facts to believe those three statements, then I have done my job. And now, you're probably wondering the same thing I was after realizing these truths. How can I use this knowledge to achieve what I want in life?
Of course, we all want financial abundance. We all want to see our bank account full of cash, increasing every day. We want to see our debt go to zero and remove those nasty red numbers from our records. We want to walk into our gorgeous home and feel safe, secure, and content. We want to drive a car that makes us feel happy and successful. We want a fulfilling job or a thriving business. We want to know that our lives have meaning and purpose and that we're making an impact with what we do. We want our romantic relationships to be mind-blowing, emotionally, spiritually, and of course, physically. We want a close group of positive, uplifting friends who support our goals and create lifelong memories. We want vibrant health, free from sickness or injury, and full of energy. We want to raise strong, smart, independent children who carry on our legacy and make the world a better place. We want the opportunity to finally be creative, like painting, writing the novel you've always wanted to write, or building things with your bare hands and feeling that sense of accomplishment. We want to travel, see the world, and share our adventures with our loved ones. We all want those things, and now we can have them. Because we have the power to create that reality now, today, using our words and our thoughts. It might sound too good to be true, or it might sound intimidating. Let me ask you this. Would you like me to show how I personally use Jesus' teachings to manifest the life of my dreams? I'm fully confident you can take your new knowledge and figure it out on your own. But if you want my help, and if you want to get the shortcut that I've developed for myself and my private students, would you like to hear about how you could get it? Like I said at the beginning of this presentation, Jesus created several different passwords for himself to manipulate the physical world around him. Through careful study and years of trial and error, I've managed to take those passwords and turn them into seven clear steps. These seven steps became my program called the Quantum Manifestation Code. Funny story on why I call it that. I wanted to call it Jesus' Secret Code, How to Use the Power of God to Create Your Own Ideal Life. But once the church got a whiff of what I was doing, I got swamped with letters, phone calls, and even some visits from very scary men, all with one clear message. Cease and desist. So I renamed the product to Quantum Manifestation Code. That way, the church can shrug it off as a New Age product and easily tell their followers to ignore it out of principles. Have you ever wondered why the church is so defensive and aggressive towards simple things like meditation, yoga, and affirmations? This is why. They do not want their followers to truly understand their own God-given power to create. And just as a warning, that's also why this presentation may not be online much longer. Try as I might, I'm just one man, and the church has 2.2 billion members. The Vatican is a global political force. The untold trillions of dollars they command could bury me alive in lawsuits. So if they come after me for this video, I'll be forced to take it down. But here's why I think you need to seriously consider getting this quantum manifestation code for yourself. You now know the truth. You know that modern science has proven Jesus correct in every sense of the word. You know that you can use your thoughts and words to transform the physical reality around you. You know that, with enough practice, you can start to bend reality in your favor and truly embody yourself as a creator. Since you know all that, why would you want to waste any time at all if you could shortcut the process of learning to use your God-given powers of creation to better your life, why on earth would you wait longer to do it? Don't you want that power now? It's like choosing to get healthy. If you were starting to work out and eat right, wouldn't you want the best workout to follow that would get you the fastest results? Wouldn't you want the tastiest healthy recipes, the exact ingredients, and the expert advice on which diet to use? Of course you'd want all that. No sane person ever wants results to happen slower than they need to, and that's why I created the Quantum Manifestation Code. Rather than learning to use the power inside you on your own, just follow these seven steps exactly as they're written, just like Jesus tells us to listen to his words and obey his teachings. He's not offering a suggestion. He has literally given us the blueprint. We just need to translate it into modern science and brush the dust off a little bit. Now, since no sane person would want to wait longer than they need to for results like this, I would like to make you an offer that should be absolutely irresistible. In order to make my cost back on publishing this information, 
I've had to sell this program to the public for $99. For context, a single class at a theological university will cost you $5,000. So $99 is a steal. The private retreats where I taught this to a very small number of students cost a few thousand dollars each to attend. But I would like to make you a special offer. If you choose to invest in yourself and get the shortcut to becoming a God-given creator, I will reduce the price of the entire seven-week program to just $39, tax included. Even creators still need to pay taxes. Click the button right below this video and you'll immediately be taken to a secure order page where you can complete your purchase. Once that's done, you'll get instant access to the program. You can start right now. By the end of the day, you can be on your way to creating a new reality for yourself. Would you like to get started immediately on your journey to becoming a creator of your own reality? Here's what you get. Quantum Manifestation Code Week 1. Find your passion. This is where you dig deep into the core emotional drivers of what makes you, you. Jesus did this instinctively. But he also chose to live his life in complete congruence with these passions. His final act of love is called the passion. Week 2. Release the bad. Jesus inspired billions of people because he was free from sin. But sin isn't exactly what we think it is. Mistakes are not sin. Sin is when we stray from our purest, most impactful and conscious purpose. It's when we let petty human stuff get in the way of our perfect life. And in order to fully find our power, we must use Jesus' teaching to get rid of that bad and replace it with good. Week 3. Clear Your Mind Jesus was wonderfully serene. He was infinitely patient, but took relentless action. If that sounds contradictory, this module will show you how it's done. Week 4. Suspend Doubt Jesus did not doubt his purpose or passions. He showed empathy and emotion and love but not doubt. Week 5. Inspired Action Jesus accomplished enough in his 33 years of life to create the most influential movement in history. This is how. Week 6. Aim for Abundance Jesus did not spurn possessions. In fact, the records show he was fairly wealthy. He simply did not let possessions own him. Abundance isn't about having the most. It's knowing that all you have is more than enough and trusting that everything you need is already on its way. Week 7. Final Transformation To fully embody the new Creator You. This is it. I'll leave the surprise. Click the button below this video. Then join our community today. The world needs you. Oh, and I am a spiritual Christian. Even though I have moved on from the dogma of the church, I am an honest man with integrity in my business. That's why I have a 60-day money-back, no-questions-asked guarantee on this program. You can go through the entire program every single week, and afterward, you'll have one extra week. If you don't think the course was worth 10 times what you paid for it, I want you to email me personally, and I'll give you a full refund. I stand by my research and my creation. If it doesn't work for you, you lose absolutely nothing. Click the button below this video now to complete your purchase. I look forward to seeing the incredible impact you are about to make on this world. Okay, stop here. You need to ask yourself a question before you go on. At this point, you need to decide if you're the kind of person who wants results, or are you the kind of person who would rather have excuses? Ask yourself, can I make a decision and work toward my goals? Or should I just resign myself to forever talking about things and never living the life I want? Are you still with me? Good then I think you know the answer. Simply click the button below and you'll get instant access to the quantum manifestation code. Plus, I'm going to include some bonuses to reward you for being the type of action-oriented person who gets stuff done. So, if you order today, I'm going to give you the Power Nap Plus program. After years of studying the most successful people in the world and studying people who have unknowingly used quantum manifestation code to create massive successes in their lives, there is one thing they all have in common. Whether they had amazing health, financial abundance, powerful relationships, a fabulous love life, or had a combination of all of them, every single person I studied had one thing in common. They all swore by the mental, spiritual, and emotional importance of naps. Here's the problem. If you aren't taking several naps every week, 
you aren't living to your fullest potential. Period. By simply taking a few naps every day and resting your mind and your body, you'll have more energy, more zest for life, and you'll feel more emotionally centered. As crazy as it may sound, this one small thing can change your life. Remember, even a thousand-pound door swings on small hinges. Don't discount the power of naps to transform your physical and mental health. Power Nap Plus harnesses the power of binaural beat brainwave entrainment technology to drop you almost instantly into the ideal brainwave state for a power nap. During the day, your brainwave frequency operates at a beta wave level between 12 to 38 hertz. But in deep, relaxing, restorative sleep, your brainwaves drop to a delta wave state of just 0.5 to 3 hertz. Of course, to reach that relaxing, restorative state, it can take 90 to 120 minutes under normal circumstances. However, because of the miracle of brainwave entrainment technology, PowerNap Plus can have you moving towards delta waves in minutes. And after an 11 minute or 20 minute nap, depending on how long you have, you'll feel restored and ready for the day. You simply put on a pair of headphones or earbuds and play the 11 minute or 20 minute PowerNap Plus track. Within a minute or so, you'll find your eyes feeling heavy and you simply settle into a comfortable position. As the track comes to an end, it slowly picks your brainwave activity back to a beta state, which means you awake feeling fully rested at 100% alert. Power Nap Plus would normally require an investment of at least $39.90 by itself. However, because I know the power of naps, and because I know you likely don't take them, I'm going to include Power Nap Plus free if you click on the button below and place your order today. Now, let me ask you a question. Are you bigger than how you are currently living? Yes, you are. Do you feel your life is the highest and best expression of who you are? If not, then come with me and we'll use the same techniques that the most influential man who ever lived used to perform miracles like the world has never seen. Let's use quantum manifestation code to improve our lives, improve the lives of those we love, and improve our world. At this rock-bottom cost of $39, it amounts to less than 7 bucks a week, just 96 cents a day. Today, even with a dollar, you can't even get a cup of coffee anywhere in the United States. So surely this isn't an outrageous amount to invest in yourself to get the quantum manifestation code and learn how you can shape your world easily and quickly with the hidden teachings of Christ. So, just click the Add to Cart button below and you'll have instant access to the quantum manifestation code. Remember, you have nothing to lose and everything to gain from your donation that comes with a full 60-day, 100% money-back guarantee. Luke 11, 5-13 says, Then Jesus said to them, Suppose you have a friend, and you go to him at midnight and say, Friend, lend me three loaves of bread. A friend of mine on a journey has come to me, and I have no food to offer him. And suppose the one inside answers, Don't bother me. The door is already locked and my children and I are in bed. I can't get up and give you anything. I tell you, even though he will not get up and give you the bread because of friendship, yet because of your shameless audacity, he will surely get up and give you as much as you need. So I say to you, Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives. The one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. Which of your fathers, if your son asks for a fish, will give him a snake instead? Or if he asks for an egg, will give him a scorpion? If you then know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who will ask him? The message is very clear. Ask and it will be given to you. Isn't it time you discovered how to ask for the life you want? Isn't it time you learned how to communicate with God and ask Him for help finding and building the life of your dreams? You can start today. You can start right now. Just click the button below to make your guaranteed 100% risk-free donation and you'll have the Quantum Manifestation Code, how you can shape your world easily and quickly with the hidden teachings of Christ in minutes. Read it. Use it. Do the simple exercises, and if you do what I outline and persist, if you ask, if you know, if you seek, the doors shall open, 
you shall receive what you want, and you shall find what you seek. Still here? I know you probably have some questions, so let me just see if I can cover some of them. Question. I've tried other manifestation programs before, and they didn't work. Why will this be any different? Answer. The reason is simple. None of the other manifestation programs out there have decoded the teachings of Christ. When you uncover the hidden teachings of Christ, watch out. You'll be able to take everything you've heard or not heard about Christ to learn and apply it to your own life, to quickly and easily shape the world around you to whatever you wish for it to be. In seven weeks, you'll be able to attain a level of enlightenment and sense of freedom and abundance that lets you literally feel like living in heaven on earth. Question. Is the quantum manifestation code scientifically proven to work? Answer. Absolutely. Quantum manifestation code is based on research on numerous well-established quantum science facts and the Bible. For hundreds of years, the statements that we have come to believe based on faith can finally be decoded with quantum science and to allow us to learn how we can shape our world easily and quickly. Question. What if I decide it's not right for me? Answer. The first step would be to contact us so we can help you determine if you're using the program correctly. My support team and I are on standby to answer any questions that you may have. But again, you literally take zero risk with Quantum Manifestation Code. You have a full 60-day money-back guarantee. If at any point during that 60-day period you decide it's not for you, you can return it for a full refund, every penny. No hassle, not a single question. Your satisfaction is 100% guaranteed. Question. What will happen to all the other manifestation material I've learned? Answer. Well, right now, all that learning may not have gotten you anywhere, but it does not mean that they are not useful. It's just that you may have not understood them fully yet. Once you go through the quantum manifestation code and attain a whole new level of understanding, you will be able to activate and multiply your results with all that you've learned and more. The sky's the limit. Question. How soon should I expect results? Answer. Every person is different. We have all gone through life differently and met with different experiences. So your response to the quantum manifestation code will be different from anyone else. Some experience powerful results in the first couple of weeks. Others take some time. We ask that you complete the seven-week program and let the knowledge sink into your mind completely before you fully evaluate your results. Keep this in mind. The results become cumulative. The more you practice the quantum manifestation code and live in a manner consistent with it, the more dramatic your results will be. Question. Will quantum manifestation code help me get better results from the law of attraction? Answer. Yes. As explained earlier, whatever law of attraction material that you have learned before may not have gotten you very far because you may not have understood the true essence of them fully. But once you master quantum manifestation code, and open up your mind to the hidden lessons of Christ, you'll be able to quickly and rapidly change your life with all that you've learned now and in the past. Question. Are there any harmful side effects with Quantum Manifestation Code? Answer. None. The only warning is to not read while driving a vehicle or operating equipment. Question. Is my personal information safe? Answer. Yes. Our payment processor, ClickBank, employs 256-bit encryption technologies using secure sockets layers, SSL, from trusted vendors like VeriSign and Thwot to encrypt sensitive data. Your personal information could not be safer.